what? Uh oh. Rudy, what's up with the frying pan and ladle? What's cooking? Oh, geez. See that? Uh oh. Either way, it's another. Should I see that shit? Mom, no, I can't go. Personally, that does sound appealing. You're not going to smack with that pan, are you? It's a quick fix, but hit him wrong, you know, and he'll literally never wake up. So what are you going to do? Miss. Rise from your grave. Come on, up and at him. Let's go. Wake up. Wake up, my boy. It's just you. And what's that remark you snuck in at the end there? Stun, you don't hear these things. Dog, so get up. Go splash your face with cold water or something. I know I'm in this. See, I learned it straight from Stun's little sister. I've got it down. <laughs> I got a story to tell you after this one. I got a story to this one. He's at it again! Someone's bound to trip over him if he's asleep out here. <laughs> Alright, let's give Ruchi's method a try. Got my ladle, got my frying pan. Uh, Ruti was asking for you. Over there. Man, 
What does she want now? And why can't she come ask me herself? She wants to ask you to marry her. Oh, sorry, Stan. Sorry, Ruti. I actually used that line once while I was at work. Because <laughs> everyone slept on the job at the time. <laughs> they were so pissed when I they were so pissed when I said rise from your grave in Mormo's exact voice. Because <laughs> they, they never heard that before. <laughs> 